Norwegian billionaire Kassel Inge Rocker commissioned the build of motor yacht Rev and the keel was laid in 2017. Her hull and superstructure were built in Tulsi, Romania and the outfitting is being done in Langston, Norway. An overall length of 182.9 meters or a smidge over 600 feet, the yacht is set to become the world's biggest giga yacht ever built. The purpose of the vessel is to research, understand and learn more about our world's oceans. If you are looking to learn more, then we would like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions and get lost in creativity. If you're uncertain about what's next, creative challenges and productivity classes can be a great way to help you structure your time and set up achievable goals. With that in mind, we've been taking classes with Benjamin Ortega to better improve our production quality of these videos. He's a great instructor and has a fantastic eye for video production. Whether you're looking to fend off boredom, focus on self-care through creativity, or join a similarly creative community, Skillshare is a place to keep you learning. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership and it's less than $10 a month for an annual subscription. So click on our link down below to visit Skillshare today. You can learn a new skill, enhance your creativity and you'll be helping support this channel. At 11 knots, the motor yacht Rev is said to have a cruising range of over 20,000 nautical miles, propelled by her four diesel electric engines that produce a staggering 2.7 megawatts of power. And furthermore, it has two 3,200 kilowatt electric motors with silent R notation to reduce the underwater noise emissions and she is capable of a top speed of 17 knots. The man behind the exterior design of Rev is none other than Espen Oino, famously known for designing a huge array of giga yachts, such as the 155 meter Dilbar, the 136 meter Flying Fox, and the 95 meter Kismet, which famously appeared in the Ryan Reynolds movie, Six Underground. The interior design of the yacht has been appointed to H2 Yacht Design. The vessel is set to have three modes of operation, research, expedition and charter. The cruises and research mode will address one or more of the Rev Ocean's science priorities. The ship is equipped with state-of-the-art sampling, observation, mapping, 
and communication equipment for conducting research that covers the entire marine ecosystem, from the coastal zone to the abyssal depths, and from polar regions to the tropics. Now we're entering into the ocean decade. Supporting the UN Decade of Ocean Science provides in many ways the, the perfect vehicle for creating uh, the science that we need to putting that science into good use and solutions. There is nothing more exciting in this world uh, than the ocean. Uh, it provides us with uh, oxygen, food, livelihoods, inspiration, but we are currently treating it as a massive waste dump. Everywhere you look on the ocean, there's a problem, and we are making it worse. We need to understand it. We need to figure out a way to mitigate it. We haven't had the tools until now to really get that full picture and to be able to tell the story about why we are connected, uh, whether we live near the ocean or we don't. It really is the least explored part of our planet, and the more that we know about it, uh, we can provide that to scientists and to the world to better understand how we can take care of our world's ocean. How can we disrupt the way we look at the ocean? And how can we disrupt the way we understand the ocean? Expedition cruises will be for exploration, policy discussions, awareness building, workshops, and other activities aimed at decision makers. They will also be for the purposes of testing of commercial technologies and solutions, education, and communication. The ocean holds the solutions to the majority of the problems that the world is facing today. In making new discoveries in the ocean, we can come up with new solutions to food challenges, creating new medicines and other solutions that the world so desperately needs. We are putting the founders and the scientists together to address questions about what will be the fate of the ocean in the future. The journey will be tremendously exciting because we are going to discover a new planet in our backyard. Really what we're doing with Schmidt Ocean Institute is to challenge the prevailing paradigm of how ocean research is conducted, how it's communicated, and who it affects. The third and final operation will be charter. They will offer the opportunity for paying customers to join once in a lifetime immersive and educational experiences to help achieve Rev Ocean's mission of achieving one healthy ocean. Join world leading ocean researchers, innovators, educators and guides on bespoke long distance cruises while also enjoying the modern comforts and spacious interiors that guests expect on charter cruises. Not only will the vessel be the world's biggest giga yacht, but also the most advanced research expedition vessel ever built. The equipment, services and layout include two helipads for helicopter surveys, ROV control room, eco harvesting system for live catch and release of biomass and pelagic samples, dive center, exhibition and lecture room, media editing suite for such things as videography and documentary, and this is just the beginning. The vessel will operate with up to 54 crew members and up to 54 passengers and scientists. Rev was scheduled to be completed for her maiden voyage in 2020, but due to unforeseen circumstances, the launch date has been delayed. The estimated cost to build the biggest giga yacht on the planet is said to be around $500 million. But the final cost is unknown to the public. 